and I am joined by Cooper, our user interface designer and fellow game hunk, uh, Game Salad, <laughs> and he is going to walk us through some of the new UI uh, for Windows Creator. Um, as you guys know, uh, Windows Creator was a chance for us to kind of work on and revamp our Game Salad UI from the ground up. Um, you know, for some of our Mac users, you might, if you're going to try out Windows Creator, you might notice a lot of changes in your workflow, and we wanted to introduce those to you now. Um, part of this process is that we are going to continue to gather feedback on the Windows UI and, and refine it over the coming weeks uh, before we settle on a strong, professional, and unified experience that we're going to roll across to Mac Creator. Um, so without further ado, here is... Cooper, and he is going to talk to you about the changes that you can expect to see um, for the Windows UI. Cool. Uh, yeah, thanks, Lauren. Um, I am excited to show you guys uh, some of the stuff in the Windows interface. Um, we're all really excited about it here at GameSalad because we've made a number of um, pretty significant improvements over what we have in the Mac Creator UI right now. And so... Um, I'll just kind of walk through uh, some of the stuff that we've got here and just uh, uh, kind of point some, some different features out and um, give you guys a little, a little taste. The, the, the window. So, so um, over here on the left, um, we've got our, our right now. Uh, this is where, so we have uh, a number of different tabs of create new scenes, um, layers, create, remove layers, um, an actors tab, uh, an images tab, and an audio or sound effects tab. Um, so uh, what I'll do is I'll just, um, I can go ahead and create an actor under the actors tab. You can just use the plus button here. Um, so I've got my actor created. And then it's just like Mac Creator where you can you can drag out an actor onto your scene. Um, and this guy doesn't have an image applied to him yet, so um, he just looks blank. Um, I'll also go ahead and add an image to my library, and I've got a little uh, little Chrono Trigger sprite here, one of my favorite games from Super Nintendo. Um, and uh, I can go ahead and just drag the Chrono Trigger image onto my actor and have that image applied to the actor. Um, over here in the scene editor, uh, we've got some pretty, pretty awesome improvements. Um, we've got better transform controls on the actor itself. So you can actually see um, like better you know, manipulation handles, um, better cursors, that sort of thing. It's just a lot easier to kind of move the actor around, and it just feels a lot better. Um, and then one of the coolest new things is up here at the top right, uh, you can actually see the, um, the transform controls and the transform values just right there in front of you. So it's super easy to just, you know, get a feel for where the actor actually is in, you know, coordinate space. Um, so you can see, like, the X and the Y values moving as I, as I move the actor around the scene. Um, and that's just, that's just really useful when you're working with your logic and stuff. Um, uh, we've also got camera controls. That's pretty much the same as Mac Creator. Um, the biggest change that we've made to Windows Creator is this new thing called Backstage. Um, so this is the Backstage toggle button right up here at the top. It's like this little gear icon. And so I, cl I click that, and um, this, this window will pop up on the bottom. And this is essentially where all of your uh, your logic editing happens um, is inside the backstage and where you modify attributes and um, just kind of do everything that would you know all the all the under the hood stuff takes place in the backstage um, and so yeah like one of the main goals with Windows Creator was to get rid of the um, the modal interface that we have in the Mac Creator right now so. Like in Mac Creator, when you're editing a project, you kind of have these two different modes that you flip in and out of. Like you'll be in your scene editor, and then you'll flip into rules editing mode, and you could never see the scene editor and the rules at the same time. And you have like these back and forward buttons that let you that let you go back and forth between the two. 
So we really wanted to get rid of that and just let you simultaneously see your scene editor and your rules at the same time. Um, and this is this is a tremendous improvement over what we have in Mac Creative. And I think you guys are going to like it a lot. Um, so uh, one of the cool features that we have in Backstage is actually autocomplete. So when you first pop it open, um, I can actually mod I'll just modify the instance for this actor. And um, when you first pop it open, you'll see this text field. And I can just start typing the name of a, a rule or a behavior and just hit enter. And then it will just automatically um, pop in that, that rule or behavior there. So I just created a new rule very easily by doing that. Um, it's super fast. It's really awesome to use. Um, the other way that you could do it is more traditional. Um, there's a little button up here on the top right uh, that would let you select from creating a group timer or rule. And um, I'll show you the, uh, the behaviors browser that we currently have as well in just a minute. Um, but I can go back to this autocomplete thing. I could also do like, like, a, you know, like a behavior title. So I could type in change attribute and then pop that in. Um, so it's, it's just really fast. It's really awesome to use. Um, and uh, over here on the left, you can see your attributes for the actor. Um, we are probably going to be making a few changes and improvements to the, um, to the attributes pane itself. Um, so expect it to change a little bit from what um, you see right now. Uh, but um, yeah, I think you're, I think you're really going to like this new approach to uh, the workflow. Um, down here at the bottom, we have the, the browser, which is where um, you can select from a just a bunch of different uh, behaviors to drag into your, your logic stack. Um, so we've got uh, blocks like groups, rules, and timers. Um, there are condition statements that you would drag into a rule. Um, there are persistent behaviors and so on and so forth. So um, if you wanted to, you know, it's still a drag and drop interface, so I could click on one of these guys and just drag them in to my, uh, to my logic stack here. Um, and I think uh, another big feature is also that we have multiple tabs open on the backstage now. So um, it's really helpful because you can now simultaneously see uh, an actor instance and the prototype for that actor as tabs at the same time. So you can easily just flip back and forth between the logic for the instance and the logic for the prototype. Um, really, really helpful. Speeds things up a ton. Uh, and then the last big feature that's that's kind of new is um, the ability to actually undock the backstage window. Um, so if you have two monitors, if you're working with a dual monitor setup, uh, you can undock backstage, drag it to your second monitor, have a nice big workspace for all of your rules rules editing, um, and you know that'll that'll help you a ton with your uh, with your speed of game development. And um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, there, there are going to be a number of improvements over the coming month. Um, and uh, I think one of the things you can expect that uh, we've actually already got a version of right now is um, the, uh, the attributes pane is kind of grafted in with the backstage right now. Um, so the only way you can see the attributes pane is if you have the backstage window up. And what we're actually doing is we've split out the attributes pane, so it's actually just going to live underneath the library. And um, that's really, really useful uh, for just if you're doing level editing or, you know, all you really want to work with is the scene editor. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is the Windows UI, and um, it's, I think it's leaps and bounds uh, ahead of, you know, what we have currently on the Mac, and I think uh, you guys are going to enjoy it quite a bit. So there you go. Well, thank you, Cooper. And I hope everybody enjoyed the look at uh, the new Windows UI. The organizer has ended the session, and this